Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Sinky with Labels. The Sinky with Labels is really similar to one that we've shown you previously. If you've been around and you've watched some of these modules with us, then you've seen module 28, where we also talked about a Sinky chart. This one is very similar, but you'll see a few things that are different. In fact, we'll actually do a comparison of the two as we get into our demonstration here in a few moments. But just a reminder of what a Sinky is is it's a way of visualizing the magnitude of data in a flow. So think about a flow of data going from one portion to another portion or one area to another area. That flow of data is what's visualized in a Sankey. So it displays flow and the quantity in its proportion to one another. So think about different entities and how data flows between them. That's what it's visualizing here. The width of the arrows or the lines are used to show their magnitude. So the bigger the arrow, the larger the quantity of flow. It's kind of the idea of what the Sankey is visualizing here. Now, whenever you're using the Sinky, it, accept, it accepts two columns, a source and a destination, and then there's actually a third one to show the magnitude, the actual value you're trying to represent. But the source and the destination are what are the entities that you're seeing here, at least in the screenshot where you see like US and England and Mexico and Spain. Those color entities here are represented by the source and destinations. All right, this one's developed by Brad Sarsfield again. Let's go ahead and show you exactly how to download and use this visual. You think you'll like it. You'll see a few things that are different from the one that we showed in a previous module. All right, so as always, our first place we want to go to is the Power BI Custom Visuals Gallery. You can get there by going to visuals.powerbi.com. Once you've gone to the gallery, you can then scroll down and find the visual that we're working on today, which is going to be the Sinky with labels. That's the one right here, so you'll have to scroll down a little bit to find it. Once you select it, you'll go ahead and download the visual. And you can also download a sample as well. If you'd like to see an example of how this work, this uh, visual works, you can, of course, download the sample and play around with it there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to download the visual, and I have my own sample for you. So go ahead and download that visual by hitting Download. Agree to the terms, and then it should download that visual locally somewhere for you. Make sure you save it somewhere you can find easily. That's because you'll need it here in a few moments. So I'm going to go ahead, and I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to close out of this. And I'm going to go back over to the Power BI desktop, where we can take a look at how to use the same key with labels. So I'm going to flip back over to the Power BI desktop. And in this example, we're actually going to use the same data set that we used in the last example for the Sankey, which was uh, module 28, just as a reminder. And uh, we're going to use an example that shows people moving from one region to another. All right, so we're going to start by going to get that data. We'll go up to the get data section here. And we're going to select Excel. We're then going to go ahead and choose underneath the data section here, where I've stored all my data, a file here called movingregions.xlsx, and hit Open. Once you hit open, you'll be prompted with a navigator pane to select the spreadsheet from that workbook that you want to use. In this case, we only have one called People Moving. So we'll go ahead and select that and then click Load to load the data you see in the preview window into the Power BI desktop data model. All right, so I'll hit Load here. It'll now load that data into the data model, and that data is now available to be visualized. Now, of course, you could place this into some kind of a table if you'd like just to see and visualize the data so you can get a good idea of what the data looks like. So let me make this a little larger so you can see what the data in the table looks like. And basically, it's showing data of people moving from one region to another region and how many people made the move. You'll note here that some people move from one region to, let's say, the northeast to the west. But then also you'll see, for example, let's take this example, northwest, northeast to midwest. But you can also see that people move back the other direction as well in some cases. So it just depends on which direction you're looking at and what order people move in. So it's showing a flow of data between different entities. And so what we'd like to do is vis visualize that data. And again, what I'm going to do is show you really two different Sankeys here. One we've already shown previously, so I'll do that one pretty quickly. And then I'll show you the new Sankey that we're going to be visualizing here, the Sankey with labels by Brad. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the old Sankey that we've done before. You don't necessarily have to do this part of the example if you don't want. I'm going to go ahead and hit Import Visual, and we're going to import the Sankey we've done in a previous example here. All right, so it's called Sankey Diagram. I'll hit OK. I'll import that visual, and I'm going to be quick with this one because, again, this is one I've done previously in Module 28. So I'm going to add in the, the elements here. You'll have Start, End, and the number of people that are moving. So you kind of get the basic idea how the Sankey works. It's showing a flow of data between the different entities. You can, in this uh, previous Sankey that we showed, that you can actually select and highlight the different relationships here. You can actually click on the lines if you wanted to, and that'll actually filter down the results here in a table. So it does have some cross-filtering in this one. But let's, this isn't really the one we're focused in on. I just wanted you to see a comparison of this one to the next one. So let's go ahead and delete this one. I will point out here you'd need the same number of fields, the source, the destination, and the measure of some kind. You have to have in both of the visuals that we're going to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one, though. This is one you've seen before. 
Now for the new one that we haven't done before, we're gonna go into the import section here again. And this time we're gonna import the Sankey with labels, our Sankey by Brad Carfield. So I'll open that. This is the one that I showed you how to download just a few moments ago. We're gonna add this to our Power BI desktop. Let's visualize this this time. You'll see again here, this time I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on this one, this is the newer one. You'll see here on the right hand side that it does require a source and a target, okay, which is gonna be the start is our source and the end is our target. And then the number of people moving is really the value that we're trying to display. That's our measure here. So I'll select people moving and you'll see that it's visualized here on the Sankey chart. And we can move this around if we want. You can make it a little larger. You can kind of play around with it if you'd like some. Right now, how it's working and how this one's different is it's showing and displaying the label of the number of value that's represented by the weight of that line. So the weight of that line is being showed on the label. And that's really why this is the Sankey with labels is because it's showing you labels here. Now you can adjust this a little bit if you'd want. If you want to be able to see this slightly differently, you can actually go underneath the format paintbrush here. And you can see underneath the format paintbrush, you can change the type of way that the labels are being shown. So if I go to like the link label section here underneath the format paintbrush, I can change and turn on the names. And when you turn on the names here, you'll notice that it's showing me the movement of the relationship. So this is northeast to south had uh, 787,000 values here. And so I can see that movement between northeast and south represented by this thicker line. I will point out to you here, there is not any kind of cross relationship connection that you can do. You can't click on this and it filter down something else like you can get the other uh, visuals. So just point that out to you. But it does allow you to be able to visualize, as it's, the name implies, the labels passing between each of the values. You can turn off the other value label if you'd want to, but I think it probably makes sense to be able to show that so you can see the number of entities that are moving between one and another. You can also then go down here to the node label section and underneath the node label section, you can turn off the labels that you see on the bottom. So you see Northeast, Midwest, South and West. You can turn off that label if you wanted to because you're already seeing it here in the relationship label. So that's kind of up to you whether or not you want to see that. One other thing that I do really like about the Sinky with labels that you can't do with the other Sinky is it has a little bit of interaction like you might've seen with the force, direct, uh, the force directed visual that we showed uh, quite a few modules ago. And here's how that basically works. The force directed graph, if you remember, allowed you to actually click on entities and move them. You'll notice that when you hover above an entity here, you can move them here as well. So I can select something like the Northeast, grab it, and you can move it around to a different area of the design surface if you wanted to. So it's a little bit more flexible in that you can move things around. Unlike the other Sinky, you couldn't do that. This gives you the ability to kind of have uh, some flexibility with how it lays out on the design surface. So it's a nice capability it has here. Outside of that, you'll notice the other types of format paintbrush options you have are very similar to every other visual that you have. So things like background color, if you wanted to add a background color, you could do that here. Add a title, you're more than welcome to do that. Those are all kind of normal visual uh, settings that you have available no matter what type of visual you're using. Really the only two that apply specifically to the Sankey with labels are the link label section and the node label section. But other than that, that's it. It's a pretty quick one to show gives you a nice way to be able to interact with the data and show relationship or data flow between different entities of your data. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.